Welcome back, Great World fans. Today, we embark on a new adventure. We will explore the high seas and hear true stories behind some of history's most feared and famous raiders, the pirates. Bartholomew Roberts. Bartholomew Roberts, also known as Black Bart, was a Welsh pirate who raided ships off the Americas and the west coast of Africa between 1719 and 1722. Roberts was an expert navigator and second mate on a slave ship called the Princess. When his ship was taken by pirates off the coast of Africa, the pirate captain Howell Davis, also a Welshman, knew the value of a skilled navigator. Roberts was hesitant to join initially, but compared to the harsh life as a Navy man, piracy was a faster, albeit more dangerous route to fortune, and he was drawn into the pirate world. Weeks after Roberts joined the crew, Captain Davis was killed while taking the governor of the island Principe hostage. Roberts was elected captain of the ship, the Royal Rover, and avenged Davis. The main reason for his success was his boldness. He terrorized the ships that he encountered, including several superior warships which most pirates would avoid at any cost, but Roberts took the risk. As Roberts had often requested, he was buried at sea by his loyal crew with all his weapons. They wrapped his body in his ship's sail, weighted him down, and threw him overboard. His body was never found. The Barbarossa Brothers the Barbary Coast of North Africa was a hotbed for pirates from the 1500s to the 1900s. The Barbary pirates ruthlessly wreaked havoc on shipping lanes and coastal towns. Even President Thomas Jefferson went to war with the Barbary pirates in 1803, giving rise to the United States Navy. The Barbarossas, whose name means red-bearded in Italian, began their careers attacking European vessels. The Muslim pirates captured two papal galleys and a Sardinian warship which made them infamous. But then they focused their efforts on attacking treasure-laden vessels of their Christian enemies, the Spanish, whose navy was the most powerful in the world at the time. Even after losing an arm in battle with the Spanish, Arouge continued to fight alongside his brother. In 1516, a sultan of the Ottoman Empire gave Arouge the power to unofficially oversee the entire Barbary coast. With the support of the sultan, the brothers became a major thorn in the side of Spanish and Portuguese trade and became heroes to the Barbary coast people as defenders. William Kidd William Kidd, also known as Captain Kidd, was a 17th century pirate of Scottish descent who became celebrated in English literature as one of the most colorful pirates in history. In the 1680s, Kidd set sail for America and a new life in New York City. As tensions between England and France once again morphed into full-fledged war, Kidd became a privateer on a French-English pirate vessel sailing under Captain Jean Fantin. Kidd and the crew mutinied and renamed the ship Blessed William. They then fought to protect English ships in the Caribbean from French attacks. As governor, Lord Bellamont appointed Kidd to sail toward the West Indies to attack French ships and pirate vessels. As a privateer, the loot that Kidd and his crew would plunder would be divided between Kidd, his men, Lord Bellamont, and his backers. But the question still remains, where did all of his treasure go? The tales of pirates burying their treasure may have originated with the stories of Captain Kidd's treasure and Sir Francis Drake. Some rumors place the treasure in the Caribbean, but most historians believe it is still on Gardner's Island waiting to be found, which has led many treasure seekers to hunt for his loot in vain throughout the centuries. But to this day, no one has ever been able to lay claim to Kidd's treasures. So, we hope you have enjoyed this first installment of Real Life Pirates. And if you've found some buried treasure, or are still wondering why all the rum is gone, please let us know in our comments section. Please like and subscribe. And remember, it's a great world.